Thank you, Bowie. Hey, I'm Samurai Man. I'm gonna run Metro Thread, but I'm not gonna beat the game. I'm gonna play a, sur a survival boss rush because you you can play the boss rush after they added uh, this in a DLC a couple months ago. There's a regular boss rush, survival boss rush, and threat rush. Be threat rush is one hit KO. You die from a one hit. But a regular boss rush is uh, just 12 bosses, then the it gets, adds the time and. Yeah, my best is 6 minutes, but we're gonna play survival boss rush, which is that you start with 5 minutes and every time you beat a boss you get the time added to the pool and eventually it will stop. You start getting less time to the pool, the time time pool. When you get beaten two bo 12 bosses, then it cycles over. And we'll see how far I will go, because I've only done this once, I think. And... 33 times, uh, 33 bosses I've beaten. Let's see if I will beat my <laughs> best. Which is 33. Let's go then. I will explain uh, a little bit after this boss how... Okay, so... Corpus is the first boss. It becomes invisible after the we've da dealt enough damage. I will explain more when uh, I've beaten this. There's something important to say. Okay. So we beat the, the, beat the first boss. We got 30 seconds added to the pool. And an additional 30 seconds because I didn't take any damage. At this, I will try my best to not take any damage. Because I get 30 seconds every time. Let's see how the Kride goes. These are always in the same order. It's never gonna be a random order. So Kride is the same as uh, we will do in a run. Spam missiles to the to the mouth, because that's the weakness. That's a good RNG. Got some missile back there. That's a very good first base. This is random, uh, whatever it wants to drop those uh, balls at me, or he will use that attack. But uh, that's fine. You notice how I have 120 20 missiles only? That's the only amount of missiles I will have during the whole time. It will only repeal when uh, I fight these bosses and I get some missile repeals. So, the missile repeals will happen while I'm playing. I'm not gonna get any repeals while I'm uh, beating bosses. And as long as I can go without taking the damage, that's great. We'll try our best. I wanna get some missile reveals here if possible. Okay, that's good. We got some missiles back. Drakuga is uh, basically the water spa <laughs> spore spawn of this game. If you know the spore spawn from Super Metroid, then uh, you may realize this is the kind of the same. I can try to explain all of these strats that's going on while playing myself. Usually these animations are not great, but uh, because you'll deal generally less damage during those animations. But in this case it's actually good because we get some missiles back and we get some extra HP damage as well. There's the grapple. We have 42 missiles. Hopefully... Let's see. This is a really tough boss fight because we have to... Kinda hope it's gonna give us an attack that we can counter. There we go. There's a counter. We got some missiles back. But this may not be enough to take it down. That's an attack we cannot uh, counter at, uh, at all. We're out of missiles. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, there, there, there's a good demonstration. I didn't beat it without taking damage, so I lost 30 sec extra seconds. That's, but that was mostly because I didn't have enough missiles. It's hard to do that fight without a plasma beam, because it has armor. 
We have 20 missiles now, though. This will be a little bit tricky. SQ is kind of annoying boss, generally. With a screw attack, this will be a really, really easy boss. Because it ignores that uh, electric shield it has. Now we have to wait. We can't do anything about that. We have to just wait. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. We have no missiles. Let's try to get some repeals here as well. The green ones are the missile repeals. If you have played Metroid Fusion, you may not realize what these are. It's the parasites. Let's try to get some more repeals so we will have an easier time for the next bosses. Okay, 69. Nice. Experiment, Experiment is uh, my, my favorite boss fight. It's a, it's, a Corpus, it's a Corpus kind of boss fight, but bigger version of it. There's a really cool uh, second space skip we will be doing. At least uh, during this fight, we'll get some uh, missile repeals. We'll see how much. Okay, that's a really good repeal. I guess this boss is really easy to do that. Um, I forgot its name. Storm Missile, I think it was, in this game. <laughs> okay, so this attack... Um, at the end, we can get a Shine Spark with a Speed Booster. As long as we don't take any damage, this is a perfect fight then for us. And there we go. So we can get that extra 30 seconds there. Twin Robot Jojo Soldiers are kind of a hard fight to just uh, try to no hit, but we can try. Okay, I did. I'm not gonna bother with that. I, it's uh, gonna expect it anyway because it's a uh, two of them. Spamming Plasma Beam is far better DPS there than using a screw attack. And it was just the kind of fight that is really hard to try to do without any, taking any damage. Now, Golsuna is a really difficult fight. Let's see how I will pull out this Speed Booster strat. That's a really good damage there. In this game, uh, Speed Booster, or should I say Shine Spark, is fixed. Or I, should I? I'll explain this after. Oh, that's unfortunate. I basically had that fight without taking any damage, but um, what I tried to say is that Shine Spark in this game is fixed. It either kills one shot, or it is, deals half damage, or it do, does nothing. And there it stunned the boss and dealt half of, that, of its damage. Storm Missiles are really good damage here. So we can easily start the second phase. Oh, unfortunate. I shouldn't be making those mistakes at all, but what are you going to do? Those extra 30 seconds are really important. After doing this post rust twice, it's gonna be 10 seconds, so then it wouldn't matter at all if you take any damage. There is a speed booster strat here, but um, I wouldn't be getting any extra 30 seconds from it, so I'll just take off the cover. Normally like this. Ah, oh, really? And when it when its cover is up, you can just one shot it with a you can just one shot it with a screw attack. Now Raven Peak Bean is a pretty long boss fight. Let's see how it goes. I call it Raven Bean because I mis mistyped my Raven Peak split one time on my stream.
That's a gold face keep. If I was better at mashing uh, at the wave beam shots, it would be better, but I'm not that good at it, so I'll just do a consistent uh, ice missile damage instead. There is a way to avoid this hit by standing still with the with a certain animation from melee attack but it's random whatever it hits you so it's not consistent Ice Missiles is a 400 damage it's really consistent damage at least Getting some missiles back from this fight is really good, especially from the black hole. I think it's dead soon, so I shouldn't uh, try to counter that. How much HP you have still? There you go. That was without damage, I believe. Yeah, it was. Now, when we've done 12 bosses, we recycle them again. And this time, we're going to get 20 seconds instead of 30. Eventually, it will stop. Eventually, this will stop. <laughs> and of course, we will start with 120 missiles or whatever amount we have. I got the headlock there, so I can just uh, shoot at the downright corner at all the damage there. And it will die now. That was really fast, Scorpius. That's what happens when uh, it's just a certain attack, then the second phase starts, so it locks its head down for, for whatever reason. There are uh, other methods too, but that's one of the consistent ways to keep the head, head down the whole time and dealing a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Hopefully this doesn't get any boring to you because we're doing this probably three times. Depending how the each boss goes, I'll try to keep you entertained. I'll try to keep you entertained. Boss rats are always entertaining. Okay, there's that attack I mentioned before. This is how I can uh, start this uh, phase a little bit faster. There is actually a way to wall jump from a single wall, but it's really, really difficult. I've not been able to do it at all that's a counter attack but countering a uh, corpus and cried bosses at least it's actually slower to do counter attacks to them because you deal less damage with missiles it's like 50 percent 70 percent less but it's less damage than uh, doing the fight normally so it's just far better you don't use the counter counter attack at all let's get some missiles during this Got some missiles back there. Very good. <coughs> Water spawn spawn again. We don't get that many missiles from this, unfortunately. Well, this one gives gives us, but let's see. Can we get those? Yes. You notice how I do a quick charge be charge shot there? That's what happens when you do a, s s a spin animation and fire a charge shot. It's a little bit hard to explain, but the spinning animation helps us to do this attack. It doesn't have to be charged at all. Avoid the tentacles over there. Do we have this? Not yet. I tried to just save some missiles for... Cho 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 shoulder. It's a tough fight without uh, missiles. There we go. That was damageless. So my best was 33, I think. Let's try to beat that at least. The same thing. Can't avoid that. Avoid the uh, shot. 
Watch out for that. Oh my god. Well, that's can't do much about it. Let's just try to beat this fast then. The health I have also carries over to the next fight. There's no repeals. Next one was uh, OSQ. We have 30 missiles this time. We should be dealing a much better damage instead of just using a plasma beam. Having that shield is kind of annoying for Kolsu, for SQ. Need to avoid all the hits now. That's also RNG. It does it a random amount of time. Can you stop that? Really? Now you do it. Okay. Okay, well that's some good damage, but I'm not gonna get to extra turn 20 seconds. Let's get some uh, missile repeals here. I don't need HP, I need some missiles, hey? Missiles are uh, green. That should be good enough. Next is Experiment, yeah. Experiment at least gives us a lot of missiles back. It's just kind of coordinating how many missiles we'll have each, uh, each fight. The speedrun of this game actually got under one hour just recently. Oh, I took damage there, that's unfortunate. The speedrun of this game for any person has changed kind of drastically over the past year. Half a year. Speedrun used to be like one hour, ten minutes long. Now it's under one hour for a world record, which is really crazy. Okay, since I took damage, I'll do a faster method of uh, doing this shine spark. Oops. Unfortunate. I did a mistake there by accident. Oh well. You get to see experiment a little bit more at least. I released the Shine Spark too soon there, that's what happened. There's a multiple ways to release the Shine Spark immediately or releasing it far later. Okay, one down. We can probably get, take this down too without taking any damage. Hey, damageless. Extra 20 seconds. The more time we get back, the more we will be able to play. Let's see, gonna do the Shine Spark strategy again. Hey, there we go. That's really hard to pull off because you have to be really close to Kolsuna's back there. And it, it's uh, really scary. If you didn't know, you can actually use Storm Missile there to one-shot that uh, X-Parasite. An ex extra 20 seconds there. Let's try to get those back from failed attempts earlier. You can counter that, but I don't find it faster. It's kind of weak now. Fine. <laughs> what? Usually it starts the base a lot sooner. Oh well. I took damage there kind of uh, in a really weird way. It's really training for a hand to mash really hard for these boss fights. It's a Perenia central unit. Let's just try to not take any damage. Easier said than done, you know. Screw attacking this game is kind of a 
it's really strong, but compared to like fusion, you're in basically invincible during the whole time. But in this game, you're not technically the invincible the whole time. That's damage less though. Getting some extra time back. And now we are gaining a Raven Peak. Let's see if we can get this again, damage less. Hey, that was a fast first base. Possibly. The gold base skip is possible because thanks to the storm missile. It's really hard if you don't do the storm missile method there. You basically have to. That's unfortunate. You basically have to mash 15 times per second. And that's not something I'm not capable of, at least right now. With the storm missile, you don't have to mash that fast, making it possible to skip the gold base. Gold base is a. It's a phase where you have Raven Peak in a golden armor. He's basically invincible during that time, and you have to wait for a new a new counter. Oh, I got the counter there, but I didn't got start the didn't start the animation. Yeah, he can shine spark too if you didn't notice. <laughs> if anyone wonders, can you shine spark him? No, you can't. He's vulnerable to shine spark him, unfortunately. I already took damage, so it's like uh, whatever if I take any damage there. Oh, that's fine. I don't actually don't know what happens if you die. I think you just start over, but uh, you lose the time you would have gotten. Okay, that's two times uh, we've done. We are gonna do three times. This time we're gonna get 10, 10 seconds added to the pool. And any dam damage less we get will be just better. I jump like this uh, next to the Corpius because it's like easier to control and Kind of to see where his head is. The head is really small hitbox. That's unfortunate. Okay. It's just 10 seconds, but uh, what are you can do about it? Any every second will count. Are there any donations? Well, I was just gonna, like, gonna let you focus on this one whilst uh, you know you've been talking a lot, so I'll, I'll let you just focus on this one as you know, <laughs> only have 10 seconds per thing to save. So. Uh, uh, but if you are enjoying this run, obviously Metroid Dread is on the Nintendo Switch. We have uh, two, uh, I think is it two? I think it's two Nintendo Switches available up um, to win. Um, if you, for, I think it's $50 um, worth of donations if they're made during ESA Summer 2022. You are in for a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. And you yourself could be playing this game and speedrunning it and uh, doing boss rushes just like Samurai Man here. So uh, yeah, there's uh, some cool prizes to win. Um, just, just thought you might be interested in those Switch potential um, prizes. Uh, and remember, all of the donations do go towards Save the Children, which is a wonderful, wonderful cause. Um, and 100% of the proceeds um, from ESA Summer, so all 21,545 of that that has been raised so far is going directly to the charity. So you're making a big difference um, by supporting. So thank you very much indeed. I'm out of missiles. That's an unfortunate situation now. It didn't give me any missiles there. That must be because I am uh, not at full HP. So it's giving me some HP as well. We kind of need missiles. It's gonna be a hard fight to get through next. 25. That's, that's not good. Well, let's try to make it to perk. We can use regular shots at least. Oh, we can get some repels here. That's good. I some, need some missiles, not HP, eh? It's getting slower and slower for me to be able to do these fights if I don't have any missiles for these starting fights. Kind of might be important uh, for 
Raven Pina to save some missiles there. Which is, it would be better if I was able to mash, mash it during that fight, but I don't have a good mashing, so I rely on uh, missiles mostly. Twenty-six missiles is not that good against the Cho Cho shoulder we're gonna face against. Well, make it twenty now. Twenty-one. We want to hope for some uh, some counters. Counter is a blue attack, not the not the red one. There we go. Got some missiles back, but... Ooh. That's unfortunate. You can see how it becomes harder when I don't have any more missiles. I have to use uh, charge beams now. To deal to any damage. If we had a plasma beam, this would be a lot better. Plasma pierces uh, any armor in a game. Well, almost dead. Let's make it a little bit interesting. I'm out of missiles now. What's next? Are you dead soon? You must be dead soon, right? One more? Two more? There we go. Just keeping you in the edge of the sheet. My record was 33. I don't think we'll beat it, but who knows? Maybe I will get some time set back from uh, SQ. Just give me good RNG, hey? Hey, that's good. Oh, I should have not hit that shot there. That's fine. Okay. That's actually really stupid of me to do there. <laughs> But we made it. I don't know how much damage it needs, but we have to be careful. I try my best to not take any damage. You are still not dead. We have a, about a one minute left, so I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, especially now we're not gonna beat it. Have that much time left. I need some missiles. But some HP as well. Now you can see the timer is uh, ticking there for us. I have some uh, missiles now. That should be good enough. Let's see how far we get. 33 was my record. If I can beat that, I will be really happy, but <laughs> I have to just not make any more mistakes. Ah, really? The boss rush strats are really interesting, like... Um, normally in a speedrunner, uh, you may not have storm missile for this phase, for example, or you wouldn't have a screw attack against the SQ. Okay, so we have 20 seconds left. <laughs> Let's try to beat the next boss in 30 seconds, I guess. But the time is gonna run out very soon. Like, we're not gonna beat the next boss. There you go. So can we beat this in 16 seconds? Let's try it. Okay, that's on purpose. So I can set up them on a, on a really good spot so I can deal, deal all the damage. Please die fast. It died. Does it count? It didn't count, hey. Stop clapping. <laughs> yeah, they did 31. My record was 33. I think the record for the world record is like 56. They go... They... What? It's, it's done.
the run is done now, so I couldn't <laughs> get any further. So yeah, that was survival boss rush. You go as far as you can with the time you have, and anytime you take damage, if you wouldn't get the extra time, you get there. And anytime you get a 12 bosses done, it recycles and you get less time added. added. So boss rush is uh, definitely probably a mo lot more competitive. Just 12, 12 bosses back to back as fast as you can, and you get some added uh, missiles and HP for each boss. So yeah, that was Metro Thread Survival Rush. But went underestimate a lot more, than just like I imagined. <laughs> I... Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I need to show anything, hmm... Let's see what I have. I don't know how these files are for me, but I can, uh, like, do, like, a one regular boss rush. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get, let's get that PB. Yeah. So my best, best is 6 minutes, 49 seconds, I think it was. And... It's pretty hard to run because now we start with 29 missiles. We'll get more missiles added to the pool. And we don't have to worry about take, taking damage anywhere. Just beat, the, beat everything as fast as you can. We might run out of missiles here. So we have to refill in some way. I'm missing so many missiles, missiles there. So in this case, I have to hit the tail, which starts the next phase, technically. This animation attack will be far too slow to deal any da extra damage. So it's better to do that instead. So now we are 21 seconds behind my personal best. Let's see what we can gain that time back. It will be really hard. It's the same kind of thing in Survival Rush, but... Uh, Fortunately for regular boss rush, uh, you get the uh, extra missiles and HP. Meanwhile, in survival rush's case, you start with 120 missiles, and I think it was almost full HP. But you need to get rebuilds during fight. Hey, we're get seeing a met we're seeing a grind for the third fourth time today. How are you liking it? Did you know against Kryt there's actually two ways to beat him? You can flash shift to his mouth and start the animation to hit the missiles faster. Or you can do, use the bomb, which you can get in Tyron, then come back to this fight and use a bomb to go launch it to its belly and damage that way. So yeah, there's two ways to beat him. Two different ways, instead of from the normal way. I have a timer stopped right now, but I assume it's alright. Because this is a really short boss rush anyway. Yep. Yeah, you're all good, don't worry about it. <laughs> I do worry sometimes. Yeah, it's fine. Made, made up seven seconds on that PB as well. So yeah, somehow. I don't know what I did wrong in my personal best, but... But sometimes they back. 135 missiles against Draguka. We can just uh, melt this boss uh, with all the missiles. If there's any donations, feel free to talk while we... Yeah, no worries. Um, no, just a reminder that we have our, our incentives still to go. Uh, upcoming incentive would probably be uh, Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Uh, the extra category, we're at 480 out of 1,000, so $520 to go. We can definitely get that met. That run is coming up soonish, so we want to make sure we get that met. Um, after that, we've also got James Pond 2, codename Robocod, as a, another bonus category. Uh, cheat percent. Uh, I'm not, so I'm not sure if cheat is a number, but uh, uh, there you go. Uh, 128 out of 1,000. So uh, making some headway there, but uh, pl plenty of distance to go. Um, so if we can support those, we ab uh, that would be brilliant. We also also have, have a bonus game upcoming. Um, Plushy from the Sky, the... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll basically get. Um, I think. I think. I think the category there is dark sassy. But um, Farge will show us another take on the Souls-like genre with Plushy from the Sky. That's currently 125 out of 1,500. And as I said, that Samurai Man just beat up like two bosses. So <laughs> it's a good job. <laughs> yeah. 
We've seen these bosses a lot today. Wouldn't mind to see more, I assume. I think I think Panda cheers, and it cheers anything and everything at this point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's because I'm playing. <laughs> That's a vast SQ all of a sudden. Like I said before, it's RNG, whatever it does to attack. Ooh, we're literally low on HP. I wonder what happens if it goes low. Hey, didn't go low. We need some HP back. That's good. I forgot to say that in this uh, regular boss rush, the HP doesn't reveal at least. You have to actually... But you get some E-Tanks back. Just, it's just not... Uh, it's just not a... You may not start with a full HP. Now my favorite boss, Experiment. This uh, attack is RNG. Can't really do much about it. He could do it twice in a row if he wants to. But the boss strats, boss strats are kind of... Yeah, take damage intentionally. No reason to be careful. Other than when I have two, two E tanks, I guess. In a speedrun I used to do, I actually didn't have a storm missile for this fight majority of the time. And it would go down from uh, two or three super mi two or three ice missiles usually. The pattern for this attack is always the same. It's never random. There you go. Still 33 seconds behind the personal best, but it's still good. For this fight, let's hope that uh, we don't take too much damage. They actually deal a lot of damage. It's co it's the gold of gold versions of them too. Let's take intentional damage and maybe squeeze in some uh, squeeze in some screw attacks here as well. It deals damage really well, but we always take damage from it. Okay, I'm pretty much the hardest one of the hardest of these fights is called Suna. Let's see if I can get a. No, that's too, that's too far, yeah. We can try again, it's attacking us. Yeah, that was uh, not enough room. You have barely enough room to make that, uh, at that, to get that shine spark. I'm not sure what I was doing there. It's a really tanky boss, and it's also really scary because it deals a lot of damage. If we get to this fight without um, gravity suit, a single attack from that cross bomb will take like three E tanks from you. It's really, really heavy hitter. This course you can take down with a single shine spark too, but uh, since in that point in a boss rush we have a uh, storm missile, we can just use that for the damage. Good storm missiles there. This is how the fight should have gone for all of the survival rushes we've done. <laughs> it's really draining for the hand. We lost two seconds. Unfortunate. Okay, this one actually has a really cool boss strat. Let's see if I can pull this off. There you go. Try spark in a room, then screw attack. Pretty, pretty fast. Now the favorite boss fight, one of my favorite boss fights. Or should I say it's my favorite? I actually don't know which is my favorite. Raven Pin or... Raven Pin or Experiment. And I will call him Raven Pin from now on. <laughs> I don't wanna call him Raven Peak anymore. I say that, that I misspelled my split in my speedruns one time as a Raven Bean by accident. Then my stream noticed it and I was like, well, I guess I will keep him, I'll keep calling him Raven Bean from now on. You saw that the animation I was doing there, this one. Doing a survival rush, you could do this, but it's not consistent. It might sometimes hit you, 
And that's just really bad then. You will take damage and you wouldn't get the extra 30 seconds, 20 seconds or whatever. Uh, time added to the pool. So it would be safer you just jump over him with a space jump. That's too much down, Bean. What are you shooting at? <laughs> Taking down the sun is only possible with a power bomb. Oh, that's uh, kind of interesting. I haven't had it happen like that for a while. Hey. Hey, there we go. Let's see what kind of final time we have. It should be over eight minutes, I assume. The final fight takes like a minute. Hey, it was under 8 minutes. I thought it was under... I was talking it was over 8 minutes. But hey, that's a good way to finish that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the boss rush. Thank you for watching. And thank you to my community for supporting me as whole. And thank you, ESA, for having me. I'll run Metro... I'll run Kirby tomorrow. And I guess next is time for Sonic Mania, so stick around. Thank you for watching and having me. Well done, Samu. Thank you so much indeed for those, for those runs. Uh, great, great stuff. It's nice to see how the different strategy, strats can vary. Uh, right then, um, we are going to be moving on. I think this is the moment that a lot, a lot, a lot of people have been waiting for. We're going to be... Uh, taking a break. Um, the stream will go, will go down again just quickly um, but whilst we're taking this next break as we prepare for the, for the, the next thing. Um, a quick um, $5, $5 anonymous donation with no comment that came through at the end there. So thank you very much indeed. Um, but yeah, we'll, that's also it from me for my session. Um, so I will be back later on at some point. But thank you very much indeed for having me. I hope you had, had, had a good morning li listening to my voice. I'm going to be replaced by Aishma. And Aishma will take you through the Sonic Mania crowd control with some kind of curse. It, that is cursed. Uh, I can see it. I can see it right now, and that is unacceptable. Uh, <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, you don't want to, want to miss this next run. Um, <laughs> so there you have it. Um, We'll see you in a little bit. Do not go anywhere. Sonic Mania up next at ESA 2022. Summer 2022.